Okay, so the next part of the build is going to be dealing with the manifold where your different zones are going to be handled. And here I have my own homemade version of a manifold extension compared to the two orbit extension. As you can see, the length is virtually the same. I mean, it's an extra inch, inch and a half, no big deal. And as you can see, there is a union joint, a union joint for a disconnect of the valve in case there's anything wrong with that. And then the union joint at the end to continue on with whatever your water zone is gonna be going out to. Your main water line is gonna be coming in from here and going through. And you could daisy chain these together just as these are here. And then at the end, the cap, that actually comes off so that you could go ahead and take another mainline pump and go here and take you out to yet another zone if you so needed to uh, in your yard. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break this down a little bit with exception of this one part because this one part is glued together. An additional note is when you get this in the ground, you're gonna have a cover to protect it because it's going to be below grade. And I just happen to have a cover that will go over it. And as you can see, both versions cover without any problem. And then this would be the part that would be sitting on top of your yard. Put that in, drop that down. So your ground would actually be covered up to here, right up to the edge. So you're not necessarily getting into it, but this is going to be all ground up to here. This is all gonna be buried. And this is your irrigation control valve access panel. As you can see, it covers it no problem. Okay, now getting back to the valves, a couple of the things that I did notice that I mentioned in the prior video is the length of the solenoid wires is one thing, and the rainbird is obviously, even though it's further away, it extends even further out. This makes it a little bit easier if you're going to have your main wires coming into the control valve box and you want them just, you know, to be up in one or off to the side or whatever so that you could, you know, not be in the midst of everything else. The other is the Orbit has a four post and there's one on the there's one on the other side. One, two, three, four post uh, bonnet to connect the uh, valves together. And the Rainbird has a six-point connection. I think that, that offers a little bit better stability. Um, your manifest or your manifold, this obviously nothing comes apart. So when I took and glued these this part together here, I used a very short stub so I could get it really tight together. Because if something goes wrong here, you're gonna have to, re something goes wrong here, you're gonna have to replace this whole part anyhow. So I try to stay in line with that here. This is a uh, large twist on to tighten the union. Water flow comes through and then out the other side to another union. So if anything happened in the middle here, please pause just a moment, bear with me. And with video magic, you can see that I've got this disconnected from the coupling here and same this one disconnected to the coupling here. So this one would actually be fixed to where it's going out and supplying your actual zone. So that if something ever happened to this middle module, you'd be able to unclip both, take this out, get a new one, replace it back in. And because these are threaded in here, because that's threaded and that's threaded, you can easily undo just this valve, re-thread those screws back in, and then re-put it back in and reconnect it, and you're back to a replaced zone. So do I see, uh, so personally I see some benefits. This works the same way in that you have these couplings that you can go ahead and detach to pull this center module out. But again, with the comments that I read 
online and there were well over 70 before I got tired. I heard about the, it's leaking through the joints on the manifold all over the place. And sometimes the valve itself, the solenoid valve, would not close completely and it would just continue running. So for those reasons, I have personally opted to go to the Rainbird model of the solenoid and fabricated my own. And I will go over the pieces and how I made this up in just a little bit. But as you can see, distance, size, all flows about the same, replaceable, same.